We haven't seen too much of this today. A little sunshine looking off to the north and west behind the clouds in the capital city. And this is a sign of uh, what's to come for our Mother's Day. A little clearing behind this uh, front that has brought us really a gray and somewhat wet day here across the Susquehanna Valley. And we're still seeing some of that rain across the mid-Atlantic and even southern portions of uh, Pennsylvania as this front continues to slide to the south and east. And we can see some heavier rains out across the Delmarva. I think this is uh, going to be a uh, kind of a trend, so to speak, as this system starts to move away from us, drying out and the rain moving away from us. Still a little downpour closer to Gettysburg and Adams County as we use dual pole Doppler radar zooming in to the Susquehanna Valley. We can still see some of that rain on the I-83 corridor as well, eastbound into parts of southern Lancaster County. But to the north of the capital city, really north of the turnpike, we're starting to see some of that uh, sunshine trying to peek out from behind the clouds. So we'll continue to clear out. Still could have some lingering showers here through the remainder of the evening with temperatures in the upper 60s and lower 70s. We start the gradual clearing process overnight with lows a little bit cooler than where we were this morning, but still above normal. Low to mid 50s with that northerly wind taking over. That's going to start to usher in some of that drier air. It does become a little breezier tomorrow around 10 to 15, but Highs will be close to average in the low mid 70s under a mixture of clouds and sunshine. So really nice for our uh, Mother's Day. I think highs are going to be uh, somewhat seasonable. When they were seasonable today, we hit 71. Our low is only 65, though. Not a big difference between our low and our high. Our uh, average low is right around 52 degrees. We're sitting at 72, a little warmer off to the north in uh, Sealands Grove. Comparing that to the cooler conditions with the clouds and the rain closer to the Mason-Dixon line, it's a 67 in Carlisle, 60s in Gettysburg at 64. We have 66 in Harrisburg. Taking a closer look to our uh, Mother's Day forecast, morning, afternoon, and evening, all looking wonderful. If you're getting out for maybe a brunch earlier on, should have temperatures in the 50s and 60s, then we're back into the middle 70s for the afternoon, with temperatures dipping back into the upper 60s by uh, dinner time. So no issues, maybe you're grilling out at home. Anything outdoors should get off without a hitch for moms tomorrow. Timing things that on predictor through the remainder of the uh, night. We can see that clearing trend still going to have some clouds around though through the overnight. We'll start off with some sunshine tomorrow, but then with that upper level disturbance starting to move on through and our next cold front trying to drop in uh, out to our north and west with the system. Uh, we are going to have a little more cloud cover moving in uh, tomorrow evening, but then that'll clear as we head from uh, late Sunday into Monday as high pressure starts to settle in. It will be a cooler start to our uh, Monday as well. So we are expecting a little cool down with that passage out to our uh, west. It's not going to bring us any rain, I'm thinking. Then we pump back up into the upper 70s on Tuesday ahead of another cold front. That one does cool us down a bit further as we head into midweek. May bring a shower Tuesday night, but we're not expecting much rain with that. Then we start to warm back into the 70s with some rain possible with our next cold frontal passage late Friday into Saturday, Jerry. All right. Thank you, TJ. Let's talk about the